everyone, Leslie Grossman here. Day 10 of the 30 Days to an Organized Life Challenge. Today we're talking about habit trackers. They are so cool. I love habit trackers because they are another visual way to see what you're up to and whether or not you're actually incorporating into your habit or your daily schedule the things that are important to you. I started my habit trackers back in December. It's the first time I was introduced to the concept and I struggled with it, honestly. I'm going to show you some examples of the habit trackers that I've created and where we are this month so that you can jump into creating one of your own. So as I just mentioned, the first time that I picked up doing the habit tracker was in the month of December. And the month of December, it was kind of a um, rough habit tracker. Looks like this. Um, you set up the days of the week going across the top of the habit tracker. I also include the day itself, so it's easier to find as you're working it. If you are um, working the habit tracker daily, then you won't have to worry about that because it should just be the next row. But I am here to tell you that there are plenty of days where I fall down and I don't um, mark my tracker that day or that I'll, I'll forget even the next day. So you're playing catch up. Um, this month, I've worked really hard at, I know we're just in the beginning of the month, to look at my journal at the beginning of the day, skim through it, recognize my day, recognize my tasks, close it on my drive into the office, I'm noodling, how am I going to get that done, how am I going to get this done, I'm making a call or whatever. I'll open it up and leave it on my desk. If there's nothing critical for the, during the day, then I'll close it and leave it be. Um, but at the end of the day, right before I go to bed, I double check my journal. I want to tick off any of the tasks that have been completed. I want to mark off that the day's, um, uh, day's events have been completed. And then I also want to fill in my habit tracker. Um, so the month of December, you can see that there's two rows right here that I wasn't really doing a good job of. That's the great part of habit trackers. As, as these are things that I want to incorporate into my daily life. These are habits that I want to have. Um, I wasn't doing a good job of, of making those a habit. And those were um, food log and going to bed at 10.30. There's that going to bed at 10.30 thing again. Um, so I visually saw it mid-month. I tried to course correct it towards the end and it just didn't, didn't work. So the next month I got way better because I'm super competitive even with myself and I got way better in tracking those. So now we're in the month of August and in the month of August, it's gotten a little neater, um, the habit tracker. Um, the key is on the bottom. So again, across the top, we've got the number, the day of the week. And because I color code the days of the week um, in green and then the weekends are this gold color this month, um, it's very easy to see where, we, where we're at. Um, here are the numbers of the different types of events that I wanna track or habits I wanna um, make. Um, and I've got room for one extra one in case something pops up along the way. Um, and then on the bottom is the key of all the different things that I want to track. Um, so I'm making pretty decent progress. Um, there is this, this, this row here, which is blank. Um, this one probably could use a little help. This one is definitely, guess which one that is? Guess. It's going to bed at 1030. Yeah. Not doing a good job, but I want to make it a habit, and I will. I, I'm going to work on that. As a matter of fact, it's 11.45. I've already missed it, <laughs> but we're going to put it on here, and by gosh, I will get that sucker. I will start getting better at that, I'm, I promise. Um, so that is a habit tracker. This is just one example of a habit tracker. There's some other ones on the blog page if you go ahead and scroll down. Obviously, the Pinterest board, as we've always talked about, um, and then you can always um, do a search for yourself. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, and, oh, and if you have comments or questions, um, you can reach out to me either by posting a comment on the blog or sending me an email, info at stitchesbyleslie.com.